But this recorder also supports FTP in both client and server mode. So the recorder will automatically FTP those data files out to a server, on the, uh, to a, a folder on your FTP server. But you could also, using the browser, you could also go and manually retrieve those data files via FTP, okay? Now the recorder will send over to two, both a primary FTP server and a secondary FTP server. If either one of these servers is down, the recorder knows that it didn't, the file didn't make it out. It'll hold that file, and when this FTP server comes back up, it'll push all the data files that haven't been FTP'd yet out. So you never lose any data. This recorder supports SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. You just basically put in the IP address of where your mail server lives, and then another menu will come up uh, talking about the email settings. You got recipient one list, recipient two list. Basically, you got 300 characters of uh, email addresses that you can enter in here to send all kinds of emails, alarm emails, uh, report emails, scheduled emails. There's a lot you can do with that. So some people like that, some people don't. Uh, SNTP is a good one. Simple network time protocol. You can sync the internal clock in this recorder against a network clock. The internal clock is pretty good unto itself. It's good for 10 parts per million, but you can have these recorders synced against an atomic clock, a network clock, or you could have these recorders syncing against other recorders. So this recorder could be the master clock and you could have any number of other recorders throughout the plant syncing against this one clock. But it is good to have all the, the timestamps and all the recorders synced up.